add a object plane and subdivide it couple of times four is okay then add again a subdivision surface of four we are subdividing it eight times then add a modifier displacement add new texture and add this it is a height map or displacement map then we can lower this strength by going in modifier section and strength 0 0.025 alright it's okay then we will add a smooth modifier and again we will do a shade smooth now, now it look nice then apply this subdivision surface and go to edit mode and shift alt to select the edges and then ez to extrude it in z direction and then f to fill then again come back to object mode not nice is at the bottom we have to add a vertex group let's call it di means diffused and add again non diffused non diffused then go to edit mode and here assign it then go to wireframe and add assign all to non diffused then by face selecting select the bottom and remove it now again come back to the edit mode now also it is there so we will add this non diffused now you can see it is fine now again go to edit mode and Control plus B to bevel it. Not a lot. It's fine. You can see it's beveled at bottom. Shift D to duplicate, then rotate it in Y direction 180. And just move it down in Z direction. Then again duplicate it and add it in middle. And remove all the modifiers from the middle section you can see now looking like a biscuit then we have to add uh, again a displacement modifier to the middle section and we have to use cloud and we have to lower the strength by 0 0.025 and go to edit mode and add some vertex like clicking ctrl R and again now it is looking nice let's give this a color we can give it a brown color this is fine now a bit more darker yeah this is fine now and we will add the color ag again to the down portion that's okay so let's skip the color to the middle portion also that cream one a bit pink is nice add a plane scale it move it down add a camera and con control alt plus zero a bit more yeah that's fine and add a material to the surface also a bit bluish and then increase the metallic strength and roughness and we will just render it in cycles there's no lighting there so we will add a light area light then we will increase it size and move it up and in light section we will add it to 100 now you can see a bit lighting here a bit bluish is nicer now we will render it take a couple of minutes so between that you can have a oreo 
there we go our render is ready 